Hello and welcome everyone. I'm going to show you how the if statement works in Excel as opposed to the if statement. Microsoft have extended the statement so it can test 127 criteria. Now that's a hell of a lot, but it's a vast improvement on the seven conditions you could test with an if statement. All right, so I've put the syntax just down here. So it's ifs and then we're testing the first condition. So this is where you'd put your operators, your equals to, less than, greater than, etc. And then when the condition is true, what result do you want to show? Okay, now once you've done that part of the equation, it just repeats. What's the second condition that you want to test? And then if that's true, what's the true result? And then it just continues on and on and on with a comma in between each argument. Now, what the syntax will do is it will check each condition in turn from left to right. So you can have conditions along here that are true, but if it hits one that's true, it just displays the true result. And let me show you an example. So we've got these departments running down here. We've got values associated with them. And what we've got is a table that says low, mid and high. Now, if the score is uh, less than 50, what we're going to say is low. If it's less than 75, it will say mid. And if it's less than 100, it will say high. You see, this score here is less than 100, but because the mid score get tested in the middle, it will be true, and then mid will be placed in the cell. All right, okay, let's go through the formula. So we'll type in C2 equals IFS, open a bracket, and our logical test is going to look at cell B2. And we're going to say, is that less than the value in cell H2? And then we press F4. Now, when we type a comma, this is the true condition. So it's saying, okay, if, the va if that equation is true, what do you want to place here? Well, we'll place the low value in G2. So we press F4 once, and that's the first iteration. So I've just made made it so we've got three rounds to do. So now we ask the question again. So we say, is B2 less than 75? Yeah, and then we'll press F4 once, and then we'll type a comma. And now this is the second condition truth. So that becomes our mid cell, which is G3. We press F4 once to lock that in, can't move. We type a comma and we come to the final part of our equation. And we say, is B2 less than 100? Yeah. And then we'll lock the H4 in. And then we'll say, if that's the case, we want G4. And we press F4 once. All right, now we press enter. Now I should get mid for the answer. And then we'll send that down. And basically we get scores all the way through here that actually are in line with expectations, yeah? Now, I just thought of something. If we put in 100 in here, we get an NA. So we'd have to, because some, like you might get 100, you might have to adjust the equation so it's less than or equal to the last value. It does mean, though, when you get an item on the value, like if you get 50, it stays at mid. You have to work out what you want to see in that part of the equation. So do you want 50 saying mid, or do you want it to say low? It's just a matter of changing the operator, yeah? And it doesn't trap all possible eventualities. You could uh, say, for example, if this was 200, impossible if the highest is 100, but yeah, let's say there's a typo, it causes an error. So what you do is you just change this to a large number, or you could add an if error uh, equation at the start, yeah? It's probably easier to do that, but um, if you wanted to do it the other way that I suggested, so if this was like your 100 table, you might say, oh, you could actually extend your if statement. And we could say something like, comma, uh, is B2, and then 
just greater than 100. And you might want it to scream at you. You might want to say something like check. Now, I don't have it in there, so what I might do is I might just put a reference to the cell just there, so just for consistency, and then I'll lock that in, and then G5, what I've got to do is come back, press enter, and then go into G5 and just put the term check. And there we go, we've got check. And then you could make that light up like a tr Christmas tree with conditional formatting, yeah? So that gives you all eventualities um, inside the equation. Um, it even gives you negative numbers if that actually happens. So because that's less than 50. So that's how the if statement works in Excel. Hope you have a wonderful day, everybody. Take care.